Hi there, Lillian here from Card Crafts by Lily. Thank you for joining me. Our tutorial today is using the Butterfly Basic Stamp Set and the Butterfly Thinlit Dies. This item is sold as a bundle in our Spring Summer catalogue or can be purchased separately if you prefer to only one of the items. The current Spring Summer catalogue is available until 2nd of June, I think it is, so be sure not to, to miss out on it. So the technique I want to show you today is called uh, stained glass effect and that's what we've done on our little butterfly here. So as I said we've used the butterfly basic stamp set, the butterfly thinlets and the gorgeous grunge stamp set. It is from our main catalogue which I should point out actually finishes also on the 2nd of June and not the end of June as, um, it, as it states on the front of the catalogue they've actually brought the new catalogue forward. So if you have any items that you are on your wish list in your main catalogue or in fact your spring summer catalogue, make sure to, to purchase them before they expire basically. So let's continue. Now isn't this stamp set just gorgeous? What I need to do first is Bit of brayering on oops sorry it's a wee bit of die cut on the background here we've got our four colours going from our calypso coral so saffron pear pizzazz and wild wasabi sort of fading through the four colours so if you bear with me I will get through the brayering as quick as I can do feel free to fast forward if you like Hi again, had a slight technical hitch with my camera there, um, so sorry about that. As you can see, I scooted on ahead a little bit and I have put the So Saffron brayering on this end already and brought it down sort of about halfway, just, just below halfway. And then at this side, I have started with the pear pizzazz. All I want to do now is sort of deepen the colour slightly at both ends so you have it sort of shading down into the centre. So I'm just going to put a little bit of Calypso Coral at the edge of the So Saffron, as I say, just to, to darken it up slightly. There we go. I don't want to bring it too far down so I'm sort of braring a little bit slower. I think that's enough. So you've got your clips of coral, your soul saffron and your pear pizzazz. And the last thing to do now is add a little bit of wild wasabi down at the green. Just let me give this a quick clean down. That's it. And here it goes. I'll do that a little bit slower as I want to concentrate that at this end. Oh goodness, it's going dark there. Okay, yes I'm happy enough with that. You can see the, the different colours through there so that's grand. Okay the next thing I want to do is just to stamp a little fern piece on so just bear with me I'll tidy up a little bit. I'm going to use the mossy meadow. I've already mounted the fern from the Butterfly Basics stamp set so a couple of little taps on that. And I only want it about here. Excuse the big sticking plaster on the end of my thumb. Or thumb, on the end of my finger. Have a wee cut finger. Okie dokie. Yep. That's grand. Okay, let's get on to the butterfly bit. Which is what the whole thing is about. Okay, I have already pre-cut, die-cut my butterfly and this is the, the blank that was left from it. And what I did then 
was I got a bit of vellum paper. That was a whole piece of vellum paper, obviously. That's the section. I used this as a template onto the vellum, drew round these bits roughly. You don't need to draw in those tailly bits, just drew round all these bits here. Cut it out and I ended up with this piece of vellum and this is the piece that you're going to be using. So all I need to do is a little bit of my Tombow glue, put it onto the back, see if I can get it to come out, oh there we go, onto the, the, the body of the butterfly, a little bit here, a little bit here. And I am happy enough not to stick the whole thing down. There we go. If you can see that okay, hopefully. I probably shouldn't put all that on actually. Silly. Silly, silly, silly. Here we go. Give that a couple of seconds. Let's check the other side. Give it a wee wiggle down. That's grand. That's okay. So. Now, the interesting bit, let me just zoom that in a little bit for you. I'm using two colours, two colours only, on my stamp and write markers, the Hello Honey and the Calypso Coral. Using the brush end, I don't know if you can see that with the shine, yeah, the brush end on both of them. So we'll start with the Hello Honey and very quickly just on the back of the vellum that you've stuck down, colour that in. I colour the ridges, oh, sorry the ridges, the outer edges. It's up to yourself sort of what sort of pattern and what kind of colours, but this is the way I'm doing it. You don't really need to be too careful I suppose. You don't need to be too fussy. And the same with the Calypso Coral, sorry, the brush end. I'm covering this in. There we go. Of course, if you have the any of the blendabilities, you could use those too. Well, they, they happen temporarily. Well, I'm hoping temporarily removed from sale. I'm uh, hoping it's only temporary. Um, because there's been a quality issue in production that they weren't happy that they could get resolved quickly enough. So, typical Stampin' Up! They're always thinking of the top quality products and they've removed it from sale. So, I'm hoping that they get it resolved and bring them back because I did really love the blendabilities. So that's that coloured in. I would actually give that a second coat um, just to brighten it up a wee bit. Okay, as if by magic I've jumped ahead a little bit more and given this a second coat with the markers. I've also stamped part of my little tag, the, the top of my little tag, just with the sentiment. It says there's nothing in the caterpillar that tells you it's going to be a butterfly. That is really beautiful. So. What I'll do now with the gorgeous grunge, I love the stamp set, is just give it a wee bit of interest. I know the butterfly covers most of this, but uh, you don't want it plain white either, at least I don't. It's entirely personal preference at the end of the day, isn't it? So that's that bit stamped, and that just needs to be glued on to the tag itself. So here I've got the, the tag topper punch. This is the scalloped one, uh, the scalloped edge one. My piece of basic black cardstock. I'm doing both ends of the tag very simply. And all I need to do now is to glue this on and to thread the ribbons through and I will attach it then 
to my card base. I've already stuck the brayer piece down onto the, the matting. Okay, in the meantime, I've worked on this and stuck my little tag piece all together. I'll tidy that up a little bit. I've attached the ribbon to it and taped it down at the back just with a little bit of the, the red sticky strip um, from stamping up. I just think that's a wee bit more secure. So what I have to do now, you can either put this on with dimensionals if you wanted. Um, oh, hopefully it's not glue this. Or I'm just going to use the, the Tombow glue. Excuse me, I'm going to get one that's hopefully a bit fuller than that because it's not really giving me anything. Ah, here we go, that's better. And a little squidge in the middle just for good luck. Have my card base ready. Sorry. But you might be able to see it a little better this way. I love, love, love the colours of that against the black. Isn't it just gorgeous? Now, to unveil our little butterfly, here it is all finished. Not sure if you can see it very well in that light, but I'm just getting it a wee fold back. I see I'm not too worried that it's not all stuck down. If you wanted to stick it down, you could, but I'm happy enough that it's just loosely fastened. A little bit more tumble, or you could use a, a glue dot or whatever your preference is. I kind of line it up here so that the it, the wording doesn't get covered, but it's not too high up the card either. Stick it down there. I like the fact that it's off here, although that probably means that you'll need to make an envelope for it with the envelope punch board. That's this, and I think the final thing to do is to get a little basic rhinestone jewel and a poppet just to give it that little bit of bling. We like our bling, don't we? There we go. And that's our card finished. I should point out this card actually was inspired by the very talented Franz Martin in Frenchy Stamps. Um, whilst I had done this effect before with flowers, I hadn't thought to do it with a butterfly. And it was only I'd seen a video from Francie the other day, or Frenchy the other day, that um, it prompted me to do it this way. So, so thank you for that inspiration. And I hope you like the card. That's it for today. Do pop over to my blog and uh, for more detail, the dimensions and colours and etc, etc is all on there. So it is Card Crafts by Lily, all one word, Lily spelled L-I-L-L-I -L -L -I, uh, dot wordpress dot com. And I look forward to hearing from you. Do leave me a comment. Bye for now. Bye bye.